Well, greetings to you. I'm David Weirich, and I'm chair of the Manitowoc 100th Celebration, which is going to be happening September 22nd, 23rd, 24th this year, less than seven months to go. And I want to take a few minutes to recap some of the preliminary information for troops and some new information for you as, as well. Now, PACs and visitors, hang on. Information is going to be coming in the next few weeks for you. So Scouts BSA participants uh, will be camping as troops by districts in district subcamps and there will be six subcamps total four of those will be for the great trail council districts one will be mostly for troops from the lake erie council and then one will be for those with uh, special needs Anyway, there will be uh, the district subcamps and a subcamp chief and a subcamp staff who will be assigning units where they'll be camping and overseeing the uh, operation for the subcamps. Now, exactly where each subcamp will be located has to be determined, uh, and we'll have that for you this summer because we have to determine how many units are coming from each district because not each subcamp footprint is the same size. Troops will be bringing their own food, doing their own cooking in their sites, just like a weekend camp out. And troops can start checking in as early as 5 o'clock on that Friday, and we hope to have some program areas up and going by 6 o'clock that evening. And then Friday evening, by the way, each district will be having its own campfire gathering, a fellowship event, a time to share some fun and, and get to know each other. Units will then check out on Sunday morning after the, the uh, Duty to God worship services. Now, when troops arrive, each participant will receive a lanyard like this one, which will serve as the identifier and must be worn the entire event. And on the outside, there will be the participant's guide for the weekend with a schedule and, and maps and information on the many, many, many program options that are going to be available. This guide is going to outline the so many things to do that weekend. And like I say, there's so much to do that if anybody goes away from this program hungry, hey, it's, it's their own fault. Now, in the lanyard, each participant will also receive a booklet uh, outlining the Manitoc Challenge, which is going to be a, uh, a game-wide game, a camp-wide game, sorry, camp-wide game, uh, which uh, you can choose to participate in or not. And also in that lanyard will be a, where is it, shooting sports chit. Good for one shooting sports range uh, of each participant's choice. And in each, lan in each lanyard will be the event patch. Yep, that's it. Now, each participant's patch will have a black background. And throughout the weekend, scouts and leaders will have an opportunity to earn up to four pins to be put in the patch. One pin will be for completing the Manitowoc Challenge, that camp-wide game. Uh, one pin will be for collecting the 10-card set uh, for the founders of Manitowoc. One pin will be for everyone who attends one of our Duty to God worship services on Sunday morning. And the final pin will be the Good Camper Award pin, which will be given by each troop scoutmaster at his or her discretion to the scouts and the leaders in the troop who have exemplified the scout oath and law during the entire celebration event. Now, registration for troops is online now at the Great Trail Council website. Cost is $20 per participant, which is the early bird price good until August the 1st. Uh, that's it for now. There'll be more to come in the weeks ahead. So, zim, zam, zock, everybody. That's from the original camp song from 1923.